This game ball, without question, goes to Coach Nick Sirianni. To get the T-shirt, right? But we want so much more. Yes, so much more. It took until Week 18, last day of the regular season, but the Eagles finally locked up the number one seed in the Super Bowl era. They've had the top spot in the postseason five times. It helped propel them to a Super Bowl title in 2017. Ray Dittinger getting the bye. Huge for the Eagles to heal up, but how big will home field be? Big, big, because it, well, it's big anyway, Mike, but I mean, especially when you have an opponent coming in here like the Giants that have no history of success here. We saw the graphic up for the break. I mean, they've lost nine in a row in this stadium, and they can say all they want that, oh, this, that doesn't matter. The heck, it doesn't matter. It does matter, and I think that, uh, I, think, I think the Eagles are, I mean, they love playing at home. They love playing in front of these fans. Um, now, the Giants went into a tough building in Minneapolis and won last week, so you got to give them credit for that. But they have no real history of success here, uh, and a lot of their key players have never really played well here. So the Eagles have a lot of things going their way, but still, it still comes down to going out on the field and winning the game, Mike. The Eagles have never won a home game in this round. They have never lost a home game in this round before, but you still got to go out and prove it all over again on Saturday. You see the fans out there. Those fans are taught from a very young age <laughs> to hate every different color jersey that enters into this stadium. You know, it started at the vet when I was here and it's been passed on year after year. It's an innate hatred, you know. They're born with a special gene that yeah. helps them hate all other I think other you're players. right. It's a green gene. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Green Gene. So what will determine the outcome Saturday night? Straight out of the locker room. Here are our Eagle Eye podcast duo of Dave Zangaro and Ruben Frank from the NovaCare Complex. Rube, this Eagles defensive line has gotten after it all season. 70 sacks on the year will they keep it going against the Giants this weekend yeah I think the most impressive thing is the consistency they've had especially late in the season uh, they had more sacks over the last six weeks 31 than they had all last year in 17 games 29 so uh, they got better and better as the year went on and they have a healthy Josh Sweat uh, full array of pass rushers uh, look nobody has stopped this group in, in a couple months so uh, that's the challenge for the Giants yeah, and I think when you rush the Giants, you do have to be disciplined because Daniel Jones will take off. He'll scramble. He'll make life really difficult on you. But there are some matchups on that offensive line that you feel pretty good about. Andrew Thomas has been really good at left tackle, but Evan Neal at right tackle, I mean, that's where Hassan Reddick lines up. He has a chance to get after him early and often in that game. And even Josh Sweat on the other side. He gave Andrew Thomas all he could handle in that Week 14 matchup. So uh, even when you're facing a good offensive line, you feel really good about the Eagles' matchups. But they should be able to get after the Giants. Yeah, what I like, when, when they're rushing the passer well, there's numbers to the quarterback. You have three guys. So he's going this way. There's Josh Sweat. He changes direction. There's BG. Tries to go up the middle. There's Fletch. Uh, makes it really tough on a quarterback. It does. There are a lot of races to the quarterback this year. All right, Rube, give me one X factor in this game. Actually, there's always an X factor, Dave. Uh, I'm going to go Kenny Gainwell for a couple reasons. Uh, I don't know how, how, how healthy Miles is. His numbers were down the last month of the season. Now, he's not on the injury report, but he's had that knee. He had a brace on uh, a couple weeks ago. And I just don't know where he is right now. I think Kenny Gainwell is a guy who's the concern with him is fumbling and drops, but he's been pretty good with that stuff uh, this year. So training camp was a little ugly, but he's caught the ball well. He's run the ball well. Um, he's a weapon, and they've kind of used him two-minute drill, third down. I could see his role increasing a little bit if Miles is not 100%. I like the passed over the giant killer and right to gain well. Well, I think I think Boston will have a role no matter what. But I, you know, I'll throw. Look, I, he's not an X factor against the Giants. He's <laughs> That's true. He's the man. All right, let me give you mine. It, it, look, it's not exactly under the radar, but Dallas Goddard has a chance to do some real damage in this game. He missed week 14, the first matchup between these teams. He was still out with a shoulder injury. And the Giants haven't been good all year at covering tight ends. We saw TJ Hawkinson last week against them, had 129 yards receiving on 10 catches. So if the Giants want to do what they did against the Vikings and bracket A.J. Brown like they did, 
Justin Jefferson, then there's going to be a lot of room in the middle of the field, and that's where Dallas Goddard can really kill them. Yeah, I could see him having a huge game. He's had, with, with all the time he missed, what did he miss, five games? Mm -hmm. No, he still put up some pretty good numbers, and you look at his yards per game. Uh, I could see him. He's healthy now, uh, and I think all the attention is going to go to Devontae and AJ. I could see Dallas having a huge game. That's the beauty of their offense. All right, Michael, back to you. All right, Dave Rube, we thank you. Saturday night, Ray, what matchup will you most closely be watching? Well, those are good ones, but the one I'm going to be watching – it's kind of where it all starts. It's at the center. Um, Jason Kelsey against uh, Dexter Lawrence. I mean, it's they've played against each other before many times. Lawrence did not play the final game of the regular season. That was a game Brian Dable, the Giants coach, sat out a lot of his starters. Lawrence didn't play. Um, but he's – I'm always just struck by the size disparity. I mean, Dexter Lawrence is 6'5 and 350 pounds. We were talking uh, about that the other day. And Jason Kelsey is uh, – you know, I mean, he's – 50 six, pounds. He's 6'2 and he's, and he's 295, but he's giving away 60 pounds to this guy. And Lawrence, if you watch the game against the Vikings, was one of the better games I've seen him play. I mean, he was really good. He's always good against the run, but he was really good rushing the quarterback in that game. I mean, he had eight quarterback pressures. He had three quarterback hits. And he's really the one that got the pressure on Kirk Cousins at the very end that forced him into that check down pass that kind of ended the Vikings season. So Lawrence played very well in that game, and he's going to be coming in here on a high, but he's going to be matched up with Jason Kelsey, and that's always fun to see those two guys go head to head. Barrett, what's your matchup to watch? Well, I'm going, but you know, what I saw this team have struggled in, the defense struggle against against the Saints. That wildcat formation that they use, you know, and, and when I look at it, Taysom Hill and Alvin Kamara, they use that to pound the Eagles, the fullback, Adam Prentice. They pounded the Eagles and, and controlled the clock, controlled the, um, the line of scrimmage by using those wildcat type of schemes. We saw in the beginning of the season where the Giants won all those games to start off with. They used the same type of scheme. It was Saquon left, Saquon right at the wildcat position. They had them doing everything, so they're not, it's not like they don't understand how to do it. Well, yes, they're going to use the same thing against this Eagles defense and you know I'll tell you what this defense better go out there put their neck roll on you know take them shoulder pads tighten them up you know tighten up that ten strap that, that chin strap because they're gonna go out there and try to out hit and out muscle this Eagles team they better become ready to work bring your hard head bring your lunch pail because this Giants team will try to go out there and take their heart and I hope the Eagles gonna go out there not I know the Eagles are going to go out there and make it happen against that, um, that offense. you got to punch them in the mouth, make them like it, and that way you get them out of all thoughts of winning this game. All right, so continuing your line of thought, when the Eagles advance past the Giants, the Niners or Cowboys could await. Who will it be? 